excellent artist. Today it's time to start a new art project. You will need crayon and a piece of paper. I'm using turquoise, but if you want to use a different color like white, that's fine. All you need is your crayon and your paper to create our mitten picture. So let's get started. All right, so I am using a turquoise piece of paper, but you really could use any colored piece of paper. If you don't have colored paper at home, go ahead and use a white paper, it will work just fine. What we're going to be making today is a mitten, and there's a couple ways you can do that. First way I prefer is to put my hand right in the middle of my paper. Notice my fingers are close together, but my thumb is kind of off to the side here. What I'm going to do is, I'm since I'm using a colored piece of paper, I'm going to use a white crayon. If you don't have a white crayon, another color would work fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around my hand, but I'm not going to touch my hand as I do it. I'm going to keep it close. You can kind of practice with your pointer finger first. If you're at home and you're having trouble doing this, you might ask um, someone around you to do this for you. Now go slow. When you go around, and when you get down here by the thumb, you're gonna switch directions. Be careful not to make your thumb too big and hold your hand still. Now when you get down here by the arm, you can stop. Now, probably your hand, your mitten, is not gonna be as big as mine, because my hand is big. But if you have a smaller hand, that's just fine. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close off my mitten by making a vertical line here and here, and then a horizontal line going across the bottom. I'm going to make two vertical lines for the arm. We'll come back to that later. You do have another option for making your mitten. So if it's too, you're finding it too hard to trace around your hand and draw at the same time, you can try doing this as well. You can take your white crayon and what you're going to do is make a curve line like a hill and then we're going to on one side make it longer. On this side you're going to add the thumb which will go out and down until it's even with the other line. And then you make the cuff of the mitten, two vertical lines, and then a horizontal. And just like on the other mitten, you will make two vertical lines for the arm. Either way you make yours is fine. And now what we're going to do is we're going to decorate this mitten so that it looks very beautiful. We're going to just start that today. We won't probably have time to finish the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is just divide, make a line right here where my thumb and the rest of my hand meet. So I just kind of connect that um, because I'm going to do separate designs on the thumb area and then other ones on the hand and fingers. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw horizontal lines. Make sure they're nice and dark. Now, I like to leave at least two finger spaces. If you get a little bigger, that's fine. I'm going over them two times to make sure they're nice and bright white. In fact, when I get done doing these lines, I think I'll do that around the whole mitten, just to make sure my lines are showing up nice and bright. I've got just enough room. Now, if they aren't perfectly spaced apart, maybe some are a little closer and some are farther apart, that's fine. We're going to do kind of the same thing on the thumb area. They don't have to match uh, the rest of the hand. You might have less areas to decorate and then that's fine. I am going to go back and darken this in, so I'm going to use my white crayon and I'm going to press firmly so that line is nice and bright white. Be careful not to scribble here. Control and go slow. Around the thumb. All right, now that I have this part done, I am going to put some decorations here. You can use lines and you can use shapes. So for example, maybe down here, I can use vertical lines. Now if you have a better idea, 
feel free to use that. Let's see if I want to use a shape, maybe a circle. If you don't like circles, try a different kind of shape. Maybe I can do X's. If I touch the X's, it makes kind of a neat diamond pattern. And maybe I'll do a curvy line. You can come up with the designs that you want to, but make sure it's the same all the way across. I think a top, I think maybe some hearts would be neat. Maybe just part of a heart over here. And maybe over here I can do some diagonal lines. Now I mustn't forget my thumb area. Maybe I'll do some polka dots on this area right here. And maybe I'll do some other kind of diagonal lines over here. And maybe just some horizontal lines. And I think this is a small area, so I'll just leave that. Now, if you have this part done today, you can stop for the day because I imagine your hands are getting pretty tired from pushing so firmly with the crayon if you're at home. And next week we are going to color these in. So just save this until next time. Stay creative artists. Bye.